Albert Einstein once said that if the bees are disappeared from the planet, humans will be having only four years to spare in this planet. Why the greatest scientist of all time said like that? What is the role of these tiny creatures on humans existence in the planet? Let's figure this out. I'm your teacher Vignesh. Let's get into the topic. Cody finishes off in style. A magnificent strike into the crowd. India lift the World Cup after 28 years. Pollination refers to the transfer of anther to stigma in flowering plants for the sexual reproduction. When the pollination occurs by the insect, it helps in uniform seed set improvement in quality and it also increases the crop yield. Even the self-pollinated crops, that means they don't require any external pollinators like insects such as cotton that do not require pollination to produce seeds, also provide greater yields when the pollinators are available. 35% of food crop production worldwide depends on animal pollinators which includes honeybees too. Among the 115 crop species that provides 19% of the food supplies required for 146 countries, T1 crops are pollinated by bee pollination, which means more than three fourths of the whole food supplies depends on bees alone. As our food crops and the insects are co-evolved together, more than 80% of the plants depend on the insect pollination. We often give importance to honeybees to their valuable product that is honey. More than any other product that is produced by bees like honey and wax, bee pollination alone contributes 15 to 20% more value. There are variety of crops that are solely depending on the insect pollinators such as fruits and nuts like almond, apple, apricot, peach, strawberry, citrus, lychee, fig. And in case of vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, carrot, coriander, cucumber, melon, onion, pumpkin, radish. In case of oil seeds, sunflower, rapeseed, mustard, safflower, sesam all depend on the insect pollination. Entomophily refers to the cross-pollination occurred by the insects. Entomo means insect and the philly means the support or the pollination. Under entomophily, there are different terms given for the different insects pollination. For example, the beetle pollinator ones are termed as canthrophily. You can remember it with the blister beetles product that is canthrodin with as it is called canthrophily. In case of bees, it is called melitophily. Most of us know about it. In case of the pollination by the serpent flies and the bomblet flies, it is called myophily. We can remember it by my fly. As there is Y in both of the insects, serpents S Y and the bomblet fly here is a Y. So you can take this both Y and keep it there. You can remember it like my fly. And the pollination by the hawk moth is called spigo fly. As the other name of hawk moths are springits, it is called spigo fly. And the pollination by butterflies are called psychophily because you can remember it like the butterflies fly in the manner in the zigzag manner here and there. So uh, we can call it for the psycho butterfly. Just for the remember as the butterflies are not psychos. And the pollination by the small moths are called paleophily. You can remember it like the moths are your small pals. So it is called paleophily. Here is the yield increase due to the bee pollination. In case of mustard, we can increase the yield up to 43% due to their bee pollination. In sunflower, it is up to 32 to 48% yield increase. In the cotton, even though it is a self-pollinated crop, it is having the increased yield of 17 to 19% when there is availability of bee pollination. In the forage crop like lucerne, the increase in the yield level of 112% is recorded. In case of onion, it is 93%. In case of apple, which is depending on the bee for seed set, 44% of the yield is increased.
These are all the major honey producing bee pollinators. These three bee species are domesticated as they produce the multiple combs and these two species like Apis dorsata and Apis flora are not domesticated as they are producing the single combs. Apis dorsata are most ferocious and they construct their nest in the open condition uh, like the mountain hilltop and the constructions in the open site. Apis flora also do the same thing but they are less ferocious as compared to the Apis dorsata as they are not domesticated. But in case of Apis serena indica and the Apis mellifera, they are having the similar habit like they are producing their nests in the dark condition so we can hive them artificially inside the boxes and all. Tetragonella is also having the same behavior but they don't produce the comb like the Apis mellifera and Apis serena indica. They are producing the uh, nest using the material cerumen and they are having their own domestication procedure. These are the other pollinators. They are mostly wild like the carpenter bee that is a Silocophinae family. They got their name because of their uh, nesting behavior as they construct the galleries in wood and store honey and pollen in it. They are robust dark bluish bees with the hairy body and the dorsum of the abdomen um, bear the pollen carrying hats but they don't have the pollen basket just like our um, honeybees. But they are uh, very good pollinators. Digger bees yes they are constructing nests in the soil they are called the digger bees they are mostly solitary in behavior. They do collect the pollen and aids in the pollination. And the leaf cutter bees which also do not have the pollen basket they do cut the uh, leaves for the construction of their nest that's why they are called the leaf cutter bees and the other wild leaf bees like the mining bees and the hillside bees also aid in good pollination in the wild crops. The bumblebees which also looks more like our Aphis mellifera but they are a little bit bigger in size and they do not have much potential like the other honeybees to store the honey but they aid in the good pollination. In the European conditions most of the uh, protected cultivation depends on these bomber species for the pollination on the fruit production under the protected cultivation. This is the number of requirement of the bee colonies per hectare for the various crops. Like if you see for apple, we need around 5 to 8 hives in case of Apis mellifera. But in case of Apis serena indica, as the colony is small, we need it around 10 to 12 hives. In case of the various crops also varies with the number of hives required as in case of pumpkin we require 1 to 2 hives in case of Apis mellifera but while we see it in Apis serena indica we need around 4 to 6. Next important pollinator is the hoverflies uh, scientifically called the surfer species coming under the family of Syrphidae under the order Diptera which is also a good pollinator. In the larval stage, they are predatory, feeding on the various sucking pests. They also possess the mimicry as they resemble the bees and wasps, but they do not sting. They are the major pollinators of carrot, cotton, and pulses ecosystem. Moving on to the fig wasp, the nature's wonderful creation. The fig tree is solely dependent on this one and only pollinator that is fig wasp alone. And there are no other mode of pollination for this crop. In nature, there are two types of figs that is Capri fig and the Simira fig. The Capri fig is the wilder type of fig which is not edible for the cultivation but both the male and female flowers are there in case of Capri fig and they are good producer of the pollen in planting. It is the natural host for the fig wasp. The next type is the Smira fig which is the cultivated type of fig and edible and it is only having the female flowers which means that it needs pollen from the cabri fig to produce the fruits. And the smira fig is not the natural host for the fig wasp. Coming to the story of pollination, in the fig wasp, the females are winged and males are wingless. We have seen that in case of lac insect where the females are wingless and the males were winged as their natural host is the Cabri fig, both male and female present only on the cabri fig itself. They produces the galls in the flower's base and they will mature inside. And after the maturity of the 
fig wasp, the female and male mates inside the flower gall itself. The mated female wasp emerges out of the flower that is the cabrific with lot of pollen dusted around its body. Fig wasp enters the smell of fig with lot of pollen and deposits it on the stigma. But it cannot oviposit it in the ovary of the smell of fig which is deep seated. So it cannot lay their eggs in the smell of fig it will again move to the caprific to lay their eggs and continue their life cycle. In this nature's wonderful process, the smerafig is pollinated and the caprific will be planted next to the smerafig to aid in the pollination. So without this wonderful fig wasp, the fig plantation will never occur. This is the female fig mask laying their eggs. The next important pollinator is our oil palm pollinating weevil that is Elidovins cameronicus coming under the family Curculinidae under the order Coleoptera. It aids in the increase of the oil palm yield by increasing the palm bunch weight by 35% and the oil content is increased up to 20% due to this oil palm pollinating weevil. Nowadays, due to the indiscriminate use of the chemical pesticides and the climate change and the deforestation, the natural habitats of these bees are decreasing which will ultimately impact on the food cycle that is also including the human species too. So protecting these pollinators or protecting the human species. We need this little creature for our race to exist in this planet. So. Crop protection industries which produces the chemical have to be more specific for the pest that is on concern as they should not affect the other pollinators which is also present in the ecosystem and as a farmers they should also consider when to spray the insecticides as they should spray the insecticides before the active hours of bees they should also choose the pesticides based on their needs. And as the beekeepers, we should improve the pollinator habitats and we have to monitor for the disease and mites of this wonderful creature. By which we can protect these pollinators, ultimately we can help this human species. Let us move on to the question part. Pollination by moths is called as Melitophily, Myophily, Paleophily, Canthrophily. Myophily is pollination by bees, pollination by surfeits or beetles or hawk moths. Yield increase in lucerne due to bee pollination is 17%, 100%, 90% or 43%. Find the odd one. Bomber species, tetragonal species, Aphis flora, Aphis dorsata. You can find different odd ones based on the different criteria. So have fun finding the odd one. Number of bee colonies in case of Indian bees required per hectare of apple orchard is 6, 10, 2 or 7. In this pollinator, larval stage is predatory. Surface species, tetragonal species, antenna species, helicidid bee. Question number 7 is which is leaf cutter bee family? Anthophorinae, Xylocophinae, Aphinae or Aphinae. Which among the following is wrong statement in case of Plastobaga pheasants? Pollinates cabrific, lives in smerafic, males are winged, females are wingless. Find which one of them is wrong. Oil palm is pollinated by Elodavins cameronicus, Aphis flora, Sirfids flies, or bubble bees. With this, we conclude this class. See you in the next class with the weed killers. Bye bye.